If you are new to the channel and you haven't yet, please be sure to hit that like and that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on notification bell so you're notified by any time I post a video. And also don't forget to join the Discord down in the description below. We are on the road to 8k and uh, yeah, enjoy the video. What is going on guys, your boy Z here and we are back with another video. Now I know, I know, I know, it's been a very, very, very long time since I've uploaded. And there's a very good reason to that. And that is because, well, Roblox has not been hitting these past couple of, you know, weeks. Like, Roblox has just been drier than the Sahara Desert, I'm not gonna lie. It's been very, very boring to uh, play Roblox, and, you know, I just haven't found anything really nice to upload. That has been immediately changed by the announcement of the uh, Layer 2 coming to Deepwoke. And now, I know when Deepwoke first released, I didn't make too much content on it, and that is because, um, I'm not gonna lie, uh, I was playing on my laptop, and I wasn't home. So I couldn't record the way I wanted to record was just like honestly have my recording on in the background and then like you know make videos about it, anything that happened and that's just because well it's harder to do on a laptop especially when uh you know you're especially laggy but now that I am home you know I can record that I want to record I do plan on making a whole bunch of debugging content especially on layer 2 and to start off with that I'm going to tell y'all about the build I have made for layer 2 so as you can see right here, we have, a, you know, an Adrit with Hollow Tide variation because, you know, the Hollow Tide goes hard. And as you could obviously see, I am a blind seer because, uh, you know, I, I have a, I like, I like flame a lot. I'm not going to lie. Flame is probably like one of my favorite elements in like aspects of like any game or just all around. I do like flame. So I decided to go blue flame with this build. And also when it comes to deep woken, blue flame is a very, very good pve slash pvp thing like it, it's a good all around for both now for when it comes to layer 2 there's going to be a whole lot of new mobs and things to fight stuff like that so i made this build with a lot of survivability in mind but unfortunately you know i didn't get as much hp as i wanted but uh you know where it's, it's mostly the the quirks and stuff that come with this build that uh make it you know nice and survivable but as you can see, like I said, bottom, you can see I have all the right flame skills. What well, would have made it better if I did have, if I did have Master's Flourish, which unfortunately I did not get. But that is okay because I like the moves I do currently have. I got Fire Blade, Rising Flame, Fire Palm, Fire Forge, and Flame Leap. Because, you know, I gotta have that, you know, jump in the air. And then also have Flame Wisp, and obviously you gotta have Graceful Flame. And if you make a Flame Bow and you don't have Graceful Flame, then something is just wrong with you. And uh, as you can see, I luckily got the Blazing Enchant, which just makes this build even better. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, Flame, Flame Attunement, Flame, you know, uh, Blessing, not Blessing, Enchantment. So, uh, you know, it just goes really, really nice with the build. Now, one of the first things to go on with this is the fact that I went Blue Flame and I got the uh, talent called Phoenix Flames. Now, if you don't know what the talent Phoenix Flames is... It basically allows you to basically revive if you are knocked while on fire. Actually, let me just pop a graceful flame real quick. So I can show you all like my talents and things like that. So boom. Pop this and sit down and we can go through my talents. We go down here and uh, as you see with Phoenix Flames, you uh, anytime you would burn to death, you instead of gain, you would instead of rise and gain 50% of your health restored and has a 60 second cooldown which actually isn't that bad because uh 50 hp if you can't survive one minute with a uh, half your hp then uh i don't know man too bad you do have to go with agitating spark so it does you know kind of hurt your teammates just a little bit but you know a little fire you know doesn't hurt your teammates just a little bit uh too bad and then you also have to go with immolation in order to get phoenix flames but that is another one of the things that helps us go with survivability but let's say you're fighting one of the new mobs and uh you know you're i hope you are with teammates because this build is also mainly works if you have teammates especially with the uh, phoenix flames because you have to be knocked for a little bit amount of time i wish i got the talent perseverance because it does allow you to uh get up slightly faster but uh, unfortunately i did not get perseverance but uh you know let's say you're fighting one of the new mobs get knocked have your teammates distract them for a little bit and you get back up or you can light yourself on fire because i also did get flame within which is literally just a free way to just uh light yourself on fire and i also got the talent to where uh, you can light yourself on fire when you are knocked on the ground so boom you get knocked light yourself on fire get back up boom you have half hp another thing i also got is uh flame of denial which is another way to like prevent yourself from uh getting knocked as fast i just messed up the code but uh, yeah 
that's another way to help yourself from not getting knocked it's a, it's a good way to keep yourself alive have more survivability when it comes to layer 2 and new mobs and fighting and stuff like that and uh yeah now the last thing to help this build with revivability or survivability i mean but basically just a revive is my bell i do have the resurrection bell as you see boom put on yourself and as the name entails you can revive yourself as you get knocked you can do a slow animation you get back up and uh yeah so basically there's three ways of preventing yourself from like getting fully fully dead is uh the revival bell then you have flame of denial and then you also have the phoenix flames which allows you to get up now the main thing that i was mainly going for was uh having both the resurrection bell and um phoenix flames having flame of denial was an extra good thing that i got along with it but um the main things that i was comboing was phoenix flames and the resurrection bell because you can uh just loop it like yeah like i like i said the uh the phoenix flames has a one minute cooldown so let's say you get knocked you phoenix flame revive and you know you survive for a little bit and if you were to happen to so get knocked again or about to get knocked you can pop the revive bell and you know revive like that and then if you somehow manage to get knocked the third time by then your phoenix flame should be off cooldown so that you could just then revive with phoenix flames again no i'm not going to lie i did get most of this inspiration from this build off the punchy video shout out to the homie punchy this uh this is where i got the inspiration from this build and stuff like that the, the phoenix flames build but uh yeah that's just how it goes now for damage wise as you can see i do have a shattered katana i have a two star shattered katana that has um i forgot what, oh yeah it has extra penetration on it which uh even though it's, like, it would have been nice to have extra damage it's fine to have you know the extra penetration because you know just in case you do end up getting into some pvp and whatnot and like i said i also have the blazing enchant along with being fired so i also have flaming flourish and along with explosion flourish so you know when i uh fight you know flourish somebody who is on fire they uh take extra damage from exploding which usually happens a lot because i have the uh, blazing enchant so nine times out of ten if i flourish a person they are going to be on fire because uh it like procs every like two seconds or something like that like you do a hit and then uh there's like a two second cooldown before they can get lit on fire again if they do put it put it out but you know two seconds is really not that long by then you can just end one them again and put them on fire plus all my moves put people on fire you know fire since i'm a fire attunement like everything i do is fire related so a whole bunch of the times if you are in a fight you are going to be doing a lot of flaming flourishes and exploding flourishes now along with that i also was uh blessed in order to get all of the legendary talents related to flame if i go ahead and sit back down here uh if i go down as you see i also have mirage clone and exploding mirage clone so when i uh do a dodge it would set the person on fire but with exploding mirage clone it uh also explodes so they take extra damage from that then i got undying flame so i can pop my flame in the depths so that is very necessary Another thing to help out with damage is Eureka, uh, with, uh, not Eureka, Overflowing Dam, which is, uh, an intelligence talent. It allows you to, uh, if you have a full ether bar, you do, um, uh, extra M1 damage and it gives you this little aura on your sword, this little, like, blue little, little aura thingy you can see above it, above the sword up here. Uh, yeah, it's basically just extra free damage, that's, uh, it's pretty good. So when you're damaging, uh, you know, just the normal NPCs and stuff like that, and you're not using any moves, you're just basically getting free m1 damage and you know that, that's good for fighting especially npcs because you know they're not gonna be like pairing like that for the most part so it's just free damage you got wyvern claw where you deal 10 percent more damage when you're airborne so if i use something like rising flame and i hit in the air uh, i'll do extra damage for anything i do in the air along with that i got meteor impact phoenix impact so where if you are on fire and you you know do meteor impact after you do rising flame you heal off of it which is nice i got fish man uh you heal more in water which honestly i should have went with like the running one to get condition runner but you know it's fine it's still extra hp i uh and uh yeah if i go over to the summary as you can see this are my stats like i said i wish i had more hp i could get some more hp with uh, more equipment bonuses a talent bonus isn't bad with 113 i just need a bit more better equipment and i wish i had a slight bit more ether but i do have a lot of reservoir and a lot of sanity but that's just because i have a lot of willpower and uh my posture you know isn't also the best but you know it's okay like i said this build is 
still good for survivability, just the fact that you have so many ways to prevent yourself from dying and you can also revive. And then, uh, yeah, neuroplasty is just, you know, if I want to edit my mantras, it doesn't take as much ether, so that's also not bad. And uh, yeah, this is basically the build I plan on going with player two. These are all the talents if you want to, you know, slow down the, the, the video and see them all. I'll go down slowly. Oh, oops. Hold on. Let me, uh, redo that real quick as, uh, my grace of flame ran out. Up that. Boom. Go down here again. I'll just scroll slowly. And if you want to slow down the video even more to see all the talents I have, you can go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, this is basically the build I plan on going for for layer two. Uh, I do plan on making some other builds. I do have this uh, chilling rapier in my inventory, so I want to make an ice build with this chilling rapier. Because uh, I feel like that'd be pretty cool, but it's mostly going to be like PvP related rather than PvE. And then I have another fire build in mind, but uh, that's that's for my like my own thing. You know, I'm probably not going to be using that much for layer 2. I just want to make it because it seems cool. But uh, yeah, this, this build... Cool. I like it. I like it a lot, especially the fact that I got this uh, blazing enchant to go along with it. The whole like fire aspect, and, you know, getting the fire enchant and whatnot. And uh, for my uh, my my stats, these are my stats right here. I forgot to show those completely. But uh, yeah, I got 100 medium, 75 leave time, which I should have went for 80, but you know that's okay. And I got 45 willpower, which that five could have went to flame charm, but I did think I messed up because I wasn't getting my last willpower talent. To uh, get blind seer, I was missing the fifth one, just to turn out that uh, I already had it and I just didn't know, so I had to put an extra five to get another willpower talent, uh, not realizing I already had it. So technically, you should only have 40 willpower, and that extra five could go into flame charm. Then you need a uh, 40 intelligence for overflowing dam agility. I just you know had some just to have some, but you could put like the extra agility into other stands. 30 fortitude just to have some fortitude. And 20 strength just to have some strength, but you could realign those however you want. But the main things are you're going to need to have is the high flame charm, the willpower, and the intelligence. And then you know you can go with whatever weapon you decide to go with. But I decided to go shatter katana. But the main things you're gonna need is like I said, the Phoenix Flame, the resurrection bell, which is a common, so it's not that hard to get, especially because you know you can re-roll and stuff like that. So the resurrection bell. The Phoenix Flames, which is a legendary, which you need to get Agitating Spark, and then Immolation, and then you can, you know, get the talent, Phoenix Flames. And then, if you can get Flame of Denial, then do also get Flame of Denial, because that also helps a lot as well. But yeah, this is the build I'm going to be exploring Layer 2 with, you know, with the homies. Hopefully, you guys tune into all that content, because it's going to be really, really fun. At least, I hope it's going to be really, really fun, because uh, Layer 2 would seem like it's going to be pretty crazy, I'm not going to lie, but uh, yeah... It's been your boy Minix E, it's been, you know, my deep woken build, Layer 2. I think it's going to be really, really good for, uh, you know, keep myself alive. Along with that, you know, just in case my other teammates get, you know, close to dying, the Resurrection Bell can help them out too. So, uh, yeah, other than that, it's been your boy, and uh, I'll catch y'all when uh, Layer 2 drops, probably. Peace. I've been right, right. I really don't like. I've been right, right. I've been right, right. I really don't like, I'll be right, I'll be right.